What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. You guys, this is another huge, huge reason why I, I love Kartra, man. Um, it just makes everything easy, dude. It makes everything flow, right? Because if it wasn't for this integration, for this feature within the system, then I'd have to use a third-party calendar, right? I'd have to use... And, and there's only so much that Gmail can do, like the Google Calendar, the free, you know, the free one or whatever, because I know there's a paid version as well, right, for businesses. But the free one that, that all of us have with our, you know, Gmail account or whatever, I use that forever. I used to use that since, you know, since I started building my agency to schedule appointments. But then what it doesn't have is it doesn't have a reminder. It doesn't send out a, 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 an email confirmation, right? When the, unless you actually, no, you can invite, you can invite them, you can invite them and then they can accept the invite and then, and then it's on the calendar, but there's no reminder, right? There's no reminder. I want a reminder an hour before I want an out a reminder a day before. Right. Uh, so when it comes to a little bit more features within a calendar, then that's when you have to go paid. You have to come over here and get, and what a lot of people do is they'll come start on this free Calendly basic plan. But then after they start to grow a little bit, then they have to start upgrading to these different uh, uh, packages. That's Calendly. That's a super popular one. Another super popular one is the schedule once schedule once is I think a little bit more. Yeah. A little bit more expensive, 15 bucks a month, 10 bucks a month or 15 a month. Uh, actually this invite once, I don't know what the heck that is, but when I had this a couple years ago, this was what it was 15 bucks a month and the price, you know, hasn't, hasn't changed. But if it wasn't for the integration within Kartra, um, I'd have to use, manually physically have to use the gmail one the google one or pick up one of those you know one of those third parties but i truly believe this part right here isn't even talked about enough this part the reason why the calendar is so important is because the calendar is what i put in my emails so as i set up email sequences now you could put the calendar now now let me let me rephrase this because there's really two reasons what i do with two things that i do with it that's how I schedule my appointments for my clients, with my clients, right? With prospects, I should say. With prospects and with clients. Everyone goes through my calendar. Um, so another huge reason is when I used to use Gmail, it was just a simple invite, right? But I need that, I need that lead in my CRM. And that's what a calendar software allows you to do, is the fact that I'm able to, put, I'm able to schedule that appointment through the Kartra calendar or a Calendly calendar or a Schedule Once calendar. But again, what makes it so powerful within Kartra is the fact that I schedule that appointment through the system, through my calendar, right? And then that lead goes into its own specific list. So then I can always email that list in the future. I couldn't do that with Gmail or I couldn't do that with even Schedule Once or with Calendly. I'd have to, I'd have to, ex I'd have to export that list right? I'd have to put that list. I have to download into a CSV file or, or an Excel spreadsheet. I'd have to download that list out of schedule once out of Calendly to put it into my email autoresponder. And that's all physical effort, right? I have to manually do that myself, right? I'd have to do that to upload it to an email autoresponder to then email them in the future. If, 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 if I wanted to segment it, right? And, and, and that's what I do. So in my case, I'll use my Kartra calendar to schedule appointments with prospects. Um, and, 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 and I have it all set up through my email or, or not through my email, but through my automations where when that person schedules, they're on a specific list, right? They're on a list. In fact, I'll show you shit. Let me just show you. So whenever people let's, let's, let's put, let's, I'll show you this inspired digital whenever anyone. And again, this is what I couldn't do with these other platforms. Um, and I'm able to do it here because it's all in one. So people who read, who, who, um, who freaking, um, I schedule on this calendar, right? On this calendar, they are then put over here. Actually, you know what? I'll show you, I'll show you my other calendar. Cause that's actually a, a new calendar. There's no data on that one. Let, cause I, I rarely take appointments on this calendar, but this calendar over here, let me, so this one right here, anyone who I schedule through this calendar, which is this one right here. Okay. That's this calendar right here. Anyone who, who I schedule on that calendar goes on to this list. So again, I couldn't do this with the other ones. That calendar leads people to, where's that list? Um, well, 
Where's the damn list? They're either on a list or they're on. A sequence. Let me see if they're just in a sequence. Maybe I just have them in a sequence. Mm. It is. Damn, where the hell is that list? I'm tripping, you guys. I have so much going on right now. It is actually. Um. I'm so freaking tripping. It's this one right here, you guys. My bad. So this one right here. So as I started integrating this, right, because forever I use Gmail. Forever I use just the Gmail one. Now I use, I use the Kartra one for everything, okay? So those appointments that are scheduled on this calendar, those people go onto this specific list, okay? Um, now, when they become a client, they go onto a different list, which would be this list down here. So, so I have it set up through my automations, which is up here. So I go to communications, I click over automations, okay? I have it set up through my automations that when they schedule on that calendar, they're on that list. But when I subscribe them to a different list, unsubscribe them from the, the calendar list, okay? So for example, when they subscribe to this list, right? They subscribe to this list. I unsubscribe them from that list. That alone, you guys, right there is a game changer, man. I don't give a, I don't, I don't care. Like that right there was worth the admission. That was worth the cost of admission for today's video. Like that right there is what I couldn't have done with, with anything else. But, but at the same time, I want to be able to automate that, right? So it's automated and I want to be able to segment that because, because those who do not opt into this list, clients, and those who remain on this list, okay, so let's go back. Those who remain on scheduled appointments, I want to be able to email them in the future. Like, I want to be able to email them. I want to stay in touch, right? I want to be able to freaking communicate. And, and, and whether it's different videos that I'm doing or, or, or um, strategy calls that I got going on or webinars that, I ha that I'm hosting, whatever, dude, podcast, whatever. Like I can communicate with that list and know that they're not a client yet, know that they didn't buy my book yet, know that they didn't get into my training course yet because they're still on that list, right? And those are people that I scheduled just random appointments, whether they were strategy calls. But again, I know what call that is, TSREA, right? That's my scheduled strategy calls, right? So I want to be able to put those people on a list, man. So that's why the Karcher calendar is so powerful um, in many ways than just one. And what I'm going to do is because on my phone, here's what I do. On my phone, I go off of as far as just like, like keeping me on track, I go off of my, my, uh, my Google, right? There's my, my Gmail calendar, right? There, we all have that, that, that Gmail, um, that Google calendar, right? That's what you should have. Because what makes it so powerful is that that's on my phone, right? That's my app because Kartra doesn't have a calendar app, right? They don't have, um, um, they don't even have an app. You'd have to go on, on just log onto their website, you know, on your phone. But there's a few pages that I'm able to save. Like it is mobile friendly for sure. So you can for sure log in from your phone. Um, they just don't have an actual app, right? And on your mobile, you could freaking access the back end of Kartra and it's free. It looks amazing. Um, but my point is, is that um, 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 over here, let me show you this part. I don't think I have a sequence set up because again, those people that scheduled an appointment with me, I can easily, 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 that's what I was going to show you. I can easily um, put on a sequence and stay in touch with them there, which I don't have a sequence set up. I don't have a sequence for that one, but I have a list. But, um, but what I was saying is, though, is that on my phone is, when I, is, 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 is my Google app, okay? Now, all my appointments that I'm scheduling through my Google, I mean, through my Kartra calendar, I simply integrate with my Google one, okay? So that way, when anyone comes and, 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 and sets an appointment, anyone comes to my calendar, they schedule an appointment, they book this time right here, I'll get an email notification for sure. And then automatically, that appointment will go onto my Google calendar. 
So now I have it on my Kartra calendar, which is right over here. So if I come to calendars, I can go to agenda and I can look at the agenda for today. I can look at the agenda for the next few days. I can see where appointments are scheduled today. So look, today's the second. I actually have these four appointments coming up. Um, but, and this is how it's all being done, man. This is how um, I'm showing you freaking hardcore real appointments right now. Like, this is so 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 right when someone schedules that call right they schedule their call they schedule that appointment whatever whatever you want to call it they schedule it they hit the blue button it's on my agenda over here okay and then it's also on my google calendar so what i do while i'm working i have my google calendar up um because this is where i get the notification with the Kartra one i'm not going to get a notification inside of my system right here a notification won't come up. Um, in fact, the notification isn't sent to me just yet. I don't. I don't think. I don't think that notification is available yet. I know that's what they're working on. I don't know if that part's out yet. Um, mainly because I don't even. I don't even track it that way at all. It's my Google Calendar. So on my phone, I'll get the Google notification because that appointment, Deborah, it's also over here on my Google. So that all happened seamlessly because I integrated it. So here's what I'm going to show you. Let me show you how to integrate this damn thing so it just flows like this. And, and, and again, you can just send everybody to your Kartra calendar. And then, and then you can use your Gmail. You can use your Gmail to um, receive the notification. Okay, that's what I do. That's just what I do. On my cell phone, the Gmail notification, the Google uh, calendar notification. On my computer, when I have the tab up, it's the Gmail uh, Google notification. Okay. But the, the appointment goes through here. And when someone schedules, look, here's, here's another reason why this is so important, man. Here's another reason why. This, is, this right here I would think is the most important, okay? When someone comes over here and schedules an appointment, okay, they come over here, they schedule an appointment. This right here, you guys, I'm, gonna, I'm giving you another golden nugget. This, again, is it was worth the cost of admission today to watch today's video. This right here, this is the golden goose right here. This is the most important. Should I actually know the all oh, both of them, both of them, you guys, both of them are the freaking most important. When I click submit and I go over to a confirmation page, that page needs to be tracked, which you can tell over here from my Facebook pixel helper. It is. You have to be able to track this through your Facebook pixel, okay? That needs to be a custom audience. That Facebook pixel needs to be there. Um, and yeah, that's what you have to do. Like, that's what you absolutely have to do. I'll make another video um, on that. But this right here is the most important, you guys, because I want to also build a, uh, um, um, an audience. I want to build a group. I want to leverage Facebook and let Facebook start categorizing these people, start categorizing all the people who landed on this page. How powerful is that and how effective is that and how mandatory is that for us to do this? So when I go run my next Facebook ad to get people to schedule appointments, those people won't see it. That right there, you guys, if you're not thinking like that, you, you ain't doing it. You ain't doing it. You ain't doing it at all. Like you ain't doing it. And again, mainly, I, I mean, mainly it's, it's it, that, that whole golden tip that I just gave you was mainly if you're running Facebook ads. If you're running Facebook and Instagram ads, then for sure you absolutely, I don't care if you're just spending 10 bucks a day or a month. Like, I don't care if you're just trying to play around with Facebook ads and you're just trying to get, you know, familiar with it and you're just a couple bucks here, a couple bucks there. It don't matter if that, if that's the case, this is required for you. You have to be able to segment this. You have to be able to create a custom audience around people who schedule. Okay. Um, because again, man, it blows my mind. It blows my mind. And even right now, even right now, this is the honest to God truth. This is the, re the day in the life of the reality of what I'm, of what I'm experiencing. Even right now, I literally just invested more money than I've ever invested ever before in my life on my training, right? Facebook ads, um, courses, how to refine my course, how to, how to scale it to the moon. I literally invested in the best of the best as far as training and mentorship, right? That's what I'm literally going through right now, March of, of 2020, right? So the, the making of this video, that's, that's what I'm, what I, what I got going on and I'm freaking fired up about it. Um, 
But even, 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 even the best of the best miss this part because I already invested, I've already purchased, but yet I keep seeing that person's video. That's what's crazy. That's why this is so important because had he, which I know for sure he had, has to have, I don't know what the heck's going on over there. I don't know why I keep seeing his ads after I invested and purchased, you know, two weeks ago, you know, um, but I shouldn't be seeing those ads. Like I shouldn't be seeing those ads. I've already purchased. I've already scheduled a call, right? I've already scheduled a call. I've already purchased. Why am I still seeing your ads? That ha that's happened twice to two of my mentors, man. Two of my mentors, two people that I've actually invested in. Um, actually three, 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 three mentors that I've actually invested in when it came to Facebook ads, Instagram ads, course creating, whatever, right? Actually all that. And that's, that's it. But these three mentors that I've invested in, in the past, let's just call it year after I've already purchased, I kept seeing their ad. I'm like, dude, what do you mean? Like, how, how are you guys not categorizing me? Like, how are you not putting me in a custom audience of people who already purchased or people who've already scheduled an appointment with you? Why am I still seeing your appointments ads? Right? So that right there, you guys, is super, super important, man. I cannot stress that enough. You do not want to keep running ads to people who've already purchased or scheduled. That's why this right here is a game changer. That's why this calendar is a game changer because I couldn't have done this with Gmail. Um, with Schedule Once and um, 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 Calendly, that's what you're paying for. You're paying for that confirmation page. So when they go and schedule, so you'll get the, you'll get the basic scheduling for free, but that, that's just like using a Gmail pretty much. I mean, yeah, the free Calendly sends out a, a notification, but that's about it. There's no tracking really. There's no Facebook pixeling. There's no, there's no confirmation page where I can add my Facebook pixel to it unless I, unless I bump up to the next package, unless I start paying eight bucks a month or 12 bucks a month, right? Then, then I get a little bit more bells and whistles. I'll get a few more pages, which that's the confirmation page that I need to put my pixel on right? Like that's, that's the whole point of it all. Like this confirmation page. So this is a simple Kartra page, you guys, that's a simple Kartra page. And, and so that's how I'm able to segment everything. Um, so here's what I'm going to show you how to do real quick. And then I'll end it here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to come in to the left and I'm going to click on my integrations. So to make this flow and to, and to allow people to, to schedule my Kartra calendar, but I also want to be able to track it on my Gmail, on my Google calendar. Here's all you're going to do. You're going to come in, in here, click on my integrations to the left, and you're going to click on these three dots. Okay. And all you're going to do is click on uh, create integration. And then you're going to connect to, to uh, Google. So we click on that. And then I'll choose this top one right here. Okay, so Grant Carter permission. Let's go ahead and allow or view and edit events on your calendars. Perfect. So I'll allow. Let's see, edit, share. I'll allow Grant Carter permission. Okay, you are you are allowing Carter to view and edit. Okay, confirm, 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 allow. Connection successful. Okay, so now here's what we're gonna do. Bam. So there, right there, th there's the actual um, 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 integration. So now here's what I can do. So let's open up this technical. See if we need anything in here. And this this right here walks you through it, you guys. So integrating your cartridge calendar. Um, will keep you both perfectly in sync. Instantly duplicate all scheduled appointments from your Kartra calendar into your Google calendar. Block out your Kartra calendar, um, any appointment date time you might reserve in your Google calendar. So that's, that's how that works, you guys. So if I just go and schedule on Google, um, on my Google calendar, it'll also reflect and, and block that time out on my Kartra calendar. So, and, and, and vice versa, create an integration. So we did that, we did that new integration so we connected google we allowed and we now now this part right here so now we're going to go into my calendars so this i'm telling you guys this is Kartra for you man not only do you have this simple step-by-step -step instructions but we also have live training every tuesday and thursday at 4 p.m eastern 
where Kartra support gets on screen share and literally walks you through a Q and A. So you're able to type in your question. Hey man, I'm having trouble with my email automation. Hey man, I'm having trouble adding an image to my landing page. It's live Q and A. And there's, there's two support reps, super, super smart people going through it and answering your question. And, 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 and on top of all that, we have a Facebook group with over 16,000 members, all people on, like, just like you and I trying to build a business on social media and capture leads bottom line. So the support is ridiculous, you guys, but here's, let's, let's finish it right here. Now that the connection between your Kartra account and Google account is established, we need to define which of your Kartra calendars should link to which of your Google calendars. Okay, so now we're going to come into my calendars. Let's go, let's go back over here. Let's click on my calendars to the left. And then what we can do is we can, I'll just choose, I'll choose this one, Top Notch Realty. So let me um, integrate it with that. So I'm going to come in here. So it's going to be that calendar. So whenever I share that link, so look, this right here, I can get link. This is the link, you guys, that I put in my emails. So it, whether I'm scheduling appointments with new prospects or, or clients, right, it's all going through my Kartra calendar. Or if a, if, a, if a person is simply on, my, on one of my email lists, if they opted in to learn Facebook ads or they, they opted in to learn more about my, how I build my agency, or if they're a real estate agent and they're opting in to want to wanna, you know, download my book, whatever, they're on these different lists, right? And in, and in these lists, in these email lists and email sequences that I have going out automatically, I have links to my calendar. So that, that's a hu another huge, huge thing that I don't think it's talked about a lot is the fact that your appointments could be coming through your email sequences, through your email automation. All these emails that you have going out on a daily basis need to have links to your calendar. So I'll simply set up an email and I'll put this link. I'll say, hey, Jason, and by the way, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you could schedule your best time. I can't wait to speak to you, right? So it's like, this calendar, you guys, I'm able to leverage in so many ways, all because I can, I can put that link pretty much anywhere, anywhere and everywhere, right? So I can always customize that link. I can choose my domain right here, which is this domain right here. And I can, I can name that whatever I want, right? But I'll leave it, I'll just leave it um, like that for now. I'll hit save and then I'll hit um, um, close. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and edit. So let's hit edit. I can name that calendar, whatever I want right there, but here's where I'm going to connect the integration. I'm going to finalize it. So I come in here. And then I could put a logo. So there goes my logo, right? I'll, I, I can always change this and put, put my logo. It tells you the dimensions as well. So you can just grab the dimensions 250 by 50, go into Canva and simply put together something super simple, like come over here. Like you can come over here and just simply get it customized. Canva and come into right here, custom dimensions. And just type in 250 by 50. Create new design and boom, that'll be, that'll be the size right there. And you could put that logo right there. Create something, upload an image, whatever. You can upload right here, right? I could take this, whatever. I could put that down right there whatever. And then, um, so that's, that's the logo. I'll just hit save. And then the custom marquee, I can change that as well. So down here, I could put a different image. It gives me the, the, the dimensions right there. Right. So I'll just use that one for now. Um, or I don't have to display, display one at all. I can, I can name this anything, right. That's the welcome to my calendar. I can name that whatever I'll hit save. And then the time zone, let the user choose their time zone. And then in here, the schedule, so I can title all this, I can choose the hours, I can choose whichever days, months, whatever. Um, I can even charge for the, for the call. So there's so much that I can do in here. I can choose the form um, on what, the, what form they're filling out. We just hit save and next. And then email confirmations and reminders. This right here, you guys, yes, communicate with your users. We hit save. And then this booking confirmation, that's what I'm saying, man. That's what this is, that's why this is so, you know, powerful is the fact that I want, I couldn't do this with Gmail. So again, I use Calendly for a little bit. I use schedule once for a little bit, but I didn't want to pay. Like I don't, I was using those before, before Kartra. Right. But I didn't want to pay. I'm like, damn dude, now I got to pay for ClickFunnels. Now I got to pay for this calendar. Now I got to pay for this. Now I got to pay for that. I'm like, shit. 
until I found Kartra, you know, last year or whatever. And I'm like, dang, dude, this is all in one. This is powerful. And so, um, because again, because of this, because of this feature, this booking confirmation, when they go book, I couldn't do that with, with Gmail. All I can do is send an invite. They accept the invite and that's it. You know, like I want to be able to, to, to actually send something, an actual email, like here's a confirmation. Like I can put whatever I want. I can edit this. I can write out whatever I want, which is what I did. Um, and so that's that calendar. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit edit. And then I'll hit, um, I'll hit up here, save. And then again, the email reminder that goes out an hour before you can set that for however you want. Um, session cancellation. Yes. Let them cancel if needed session approval, customer support. And then it's right here. You guys automations sync with your Google calendar. We're going to change. We're going to put yes sync and we're going to choose calendar integration. That one right there, you guys, bam, there's our calendar integration. Um, calendar is going to be that calendar. That's my Gmail. And then I hit save and we are good. So subscribe to list. So that's the thing, man, when they go and subscribe, I can subscribe to any list. And that's what's so powerful. I can always broadcast and send an, a random email to that list in the future. Again, I could put that list onto an email autoresponder, which is my sequence. And I can have a sequence of emails going out. And, and whenever they do, you know, become a client, they automatically unsubscribe from that list. So I'm able to segment all this stuff, you guys, which is super powerful, man. You got to be on top of your business. Don't be sending emails to the wrong people. Don't be showing your Facebook ads to the wrong people. Segment it through your Facebook pixels, segment it through your list and, and, and just step your game up when it comes to communication and scheduling your appointments. So that's that you guys. Um, hopefully that made sense. Again, there's, there's that instructions um, through here. So yes, we did that. And that was it, you guys. We connected that, we finalized it through through my calendar, and um, that's that, you guys. So step your game up in 2020. There's links in the in the description, you guys. Profitwithkartra.online, there's a 14-day trial. Um, you'll be able to come in here and set all this stuff up. You'll be able to join our Facebook group. You'll be able to jump on our weekly Q&As. Um, in fact, I'll put a link for the Q&A uh, right, right below because you have to register. It's every Tuesday and Thursday. Um, so just choose whichever one you want to jump on. Even if you just jumped on for the first time, even if you just jump on to see what the heck this company is doing, like what's so, you know, big about this software, like how can it help your, you build a business online? If you're anyone, a real estate agent, an insurance agent, a freaking chiropractor, a restaurant owner, a barber, like whatever the heck you're doing, if you're any type of small business owner and you're trying to capture leads online, you're trying to get people to schedule appointments online. You're trying to get people to buy stuff online. This is an all-in-one software. So I highly encourage you, man, check it out, profitwithkartra.online, jump on our live Q&A and um, see if it's something that can really help you in 2020. All right, you guys, I'll see you in the next video.